Hello. Uh, today I've got a whole load of XTAR um, lithium ion cells. Now these are 21700s in the outer four bays and 18650s in the inner four bays. So let's just go through these. Um, the 21700 far left is this one I believe. Doesn't say a lot on this box but it does say 5000 milliamp hours. Um, the 21700 in the second position there is 6000 milliamp hours. That's this one here. Now I've checked on XTAR's website and all of these cells are 10 amp continuous discharge capable. So you can discharge them at 10 amps. Um, of course, three and a half amp hour batteries aren't going to run for very long at 10 amps. But yes, they're all specified as 10 amps. Now the 18650s, these two in the middle, 3500 milliamp hours, which is not atypical of 18650s, but these are this one, which are 800 cycles rather than the usual 500 cycles. So these have been tweaked to give, to give a longer life um, at possibly the expense of capacity. Now you can see that the two cells out from those are 4,000 milliamp hours or 4 amp hours. Uh, they were supplied in these packages and really the only thing of interest it says here is 4,000 milliamp hours. So I've not seen 4 amp hours in an 18650 package until this point. So what do I use these cells for? Well the 18650s pretty much exclusively uh, flashlights or torches including this uh, convoy UV flashlight which is proper ultraviolet and uh, I use this for curing UV glue. The 21700s I mostly use in this thing actually this is the XTAR uh, PB2SL it's called a portable lithium ion battery charger, but it's much more than a battery charger. It works as a power bank. It's got USB type A, USB type C. I have done a video on this before, um, but this takes 21700s. Um, if you have the little rotatable piece here lined up with the center of those cells, and if you flip this round to that position, then it adds additional holding for 18650s. But yeah, generally I use this for um, 21700s because of the longer runtime. The 6000 milliamp hour cells are giving me a little bit extra runtime now. And this is quite resilient. Um, it, it does get quite hot if you're charging quite a high current device, but it just seems to survive. It's actually been a really good device, this. Uh, but this video is really about me uh, testing these cells. So I'm going to charge them and discharge them. And I'm going to use this. It's XTAR's uh, VX4. This is the 18th anniversary edition. Uh, it's a four slot charger, which can do grading. The VC8S also does grading, but at the moment I'm just using it to do a storage charge. Uh, you can see that both halves of the uh, charger here are in store mode, which brings all the cells down to between 3.60 and 3.65 volts. I think if it's bringing them down, discharging, it comes down to 3.65. If it's taking them up, charging, it brings them up to 3.60. Yeah, I'm just bringing these all back to uh, storage uh, level of charge because I've already done the discharge tests. They do take quite a long time um, because although the VX4 can charge at up to three amps, um, the discharge is at 300 milliamps. So that's 0.3 amps. So the six amp hour cells actually have a discharge time of 20 hours and uh, the four amp hour cells is uh, something like I think it's 13.3 hours to do the 300 milliamp uh, discharge. So let's see how well all eight of these cells did. I'll go to the discharge test results. So here are the results for the four amp hour 18650s and the six amp hour 21700s. And the 18650s uh, both cleared just over four amp hours. 
the two cells in the middle there and the 21700 6 amp hour uh, did quite well 6.2 and on the right hand side 6.1 amp hours and here are the results for the 18650-3500 milliamp hour cells um, both saying done in the middle one was slightly over 3500 the other one was just fractionally under at 3485 the results for the 21700 5 amp hour cells uh, both came up fractionally short 4986 and 49. 7, 5. Now they haven't completely recharged yet, but I wanted to get this shot done before I lost the light. So um, all of these cells did um, close to or slightly above their rated uh, capacities. Now it is worth pointing out that this charger, uh, in addition to the VC8S, do charge these cells right to the max. So that's 4.2 volts and then constant voltage with um, declining current. To about a tenth of the initial current so they're pushed right to the top and then discharge is down done down to 2.55 volts which is quite a deep discharge so yes yeah, certainly these are pushed uh, to their top and bottom and that's how we yield uh, these results um yeah i just found this this is the 18th anniversary um, of XTAR, which um, is from 2006 to 2024. So this year is their 18th anniversary. Uh, but that's it really. This video was really just about um, these XTAR cells, these newer variants, um, charging them fully to top, discharging them fully to bottom, and see if they meet the specification as indicated on the cell. So that's it. Cheerio.